Hey guys, my name is Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I'm very excited to bring you my World of Kit Kats TBR game for the month of August. World of Kit Kats is a TBR game that I created that consists of colour cats on a board that I move around with dice and each colour cat corresponds to a mini TBR game and with those mini TBR games I choose my TBR. It's very kind of like sometimes it will choose books for you, other times it will challenge you to choose books or it will give you kind of like a free choice so I've bent it so that I can kind of like have a choice like with my TBR because I'm a mood reader. So the next clip you're going to see is of me rolling and spinning the disc that chooses and decides the TBR games that go towards the colour cats and then after that we'll be playing the actual game. So without further ado let's get started. Welcome to the part where we choose what goes towards the colour cats. So I have got my spinny up here so we can choose them all together. So red cat is the first one. Series to continue jar. So series to continue jar for the red cat. Spin for the next one. Dice TBR. Dice TBR going on for the pink cat. Wrapped book. Wrapped book going for the blue cat. Purple cat now. Blue tall TBR. That's for the purple cat. For the yellow cat now. Pink small gumball machine. Next of all the green cat. Spin the bottle, spin the TBR. That's what we call it. Okay, next of all, the orange cat. The beer pong. Beer, po beer pong TBR. Okay, next of all, black cat. TBR candy shop. Grey cat. Moonology Oracle Cards Cream Cat Bear TBR Machine of Grabs And then finally the Rainbow Cat Reread Jar and There we go Those are all of our coloured cats for this month Welcome to the TBR world of kit kats board for the month of august we haven't played this in a couple of months so i'm bringing a bad baby because i have definitely missed it myself and uh, yeah definitely looking forward to choosing some books and playing the games again so i've got my two dice as always i'll just reiterate i roll two dice so obviously a total of 12 if I do roll double, I add on a roll. I start off with five as a minimum prompt, and then I kind of go from there. If a colour cat comes up more than two times, I roll again, just so that I get a fair play of all of the other games. So, let's give this a go. So, first dice, we have a one. Second dice, we have three so that gives us four there's always we start at the bottom of the board so one two three four so we've got a purple cat purple cat going on to for our first tbr cat welcome to our first tbr game which is the blue tall tbr gumball machine pretty much as it is it is a giant gumball machine that i have put pellets and also marbles in and the marbles also um, contribute towards this so the marbles 
equal towards free choice there are prompts in this as well as actual books so basically complete mystery so let's see what's going to come out when i turn okay we have got a pellet here so let's see what this one is oh this one's a nice one read a romance so roll number one brought us to a purple cat and that was the blue tool tbr machine as you would have seen the prompt that came out was to choose a romance and so i've gone with a library book for this one really 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 want to read it and it's one of my newest acquired library books and this is Four Aids and a Funeral by Farida Abike Imide and Adiba Jai Gurdar. So this is their co-written book. I am very excited for it. I haven't really heard and I will talk about it but then again I've not really been on booktube. So I'm very intrigued with this one. I'm very excited to dive into it and fingers crossed it's one that I do enjoy. Rolling for our second prompt first dice and number one again second a three <laughs> we've got a four again and it's exactly the same as before what the hell one two three four we've landed on a black cat black cat going onto our cat board as our second prompt walk into my candy shop where the tbr is hot <laughs> so as you can see we have got four candy shop sections. We have TBR, library, prompts, and Kindle Unlimited. So to help us choose the section, I will be using my spinner app. So we've got colors, uh, numbers one to four. So let's spin. See what number we get? Four. One, two, three, four. Kindle Unlimited. Okay. Let's get my scoop. There's a lot in this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got one in the scoop. What one is this one? To bleed a crystal bloom, Sarah A. Parker interesting so our second roll was a black cat and that led towards the candy shop tbr and i rolled the disc and it was to choose a kindle unlimited book which is great because i don't often get to choose those and the book that came out is to bleed a crystal bloom i will place the picture over here i don't really know what this is about to be completely honest it probably was recommended to me at some point we shall see fingers crossed i get round to it okay rolling for prompt number three got a three and a four so that's seven one two three four five six seven we have got our second and final purple cat onto the cat board for our third prompt okay guys prompt number three from the tbr game is a blue tbr machine and you know the drill we've seen it before we got a marble this time and we know what the marble means free choice roll number three led us to our second and final purple cat which yet again was the blue tool tbr machine and luckily this time we had a free choice i decided to go with my review book of last seen online by lauren james this releases in august so i need to get it read for definite and i've just been really meaning to read it my reading for july was awful i mean i was in the mood to read but i just it's like i had no time to read i don't know what happened but yeah it was enough month of reading but i really do want to read this so that's going to be my free choice and yeah i'm happy that i'm able to push it forwards to give it a read roll number four a one and a five so we've got a six one two three four five six we've got a gray cat gray cat onto the cat board okay guys 
Moonology Oracle cards. So I'm just going to see if a card calls out to me as I shuffle. And then I will have to interpret that towards a prompt. So that's fun. If nothing comes out to me, I will literally just pull the next one up. Okay, this one's sticking out. I'm going to go for this one. You and your loved ones are safe. So with this card, I am going to interpret it um, as a book that makes you feel safe. Because it says you and your loved ones are safe. Roll number four led us to a grey cat and that was the Moonology Oracle cards and I interpreted the card as a book that makes you feel safe, so kind of like a comfort read almost like. So for this one I tend to choose like contemporary contemporaries or romances, like anything like that. So I tried to go with a library book again and for this one I have gone with Imogen obviously by Becky Obertali. This is kind of like the sequel to Love, Simon, but this is about the friend Imogen. So yeah, it's kind of like a sequel companion, I suppose you could say. But I have been meaning to read this book for a long time. I've had this from the library for a long time and I was just like, you know what? I'm really in the mood for this one. So I'm hoping it's going to be one that I do enjoy and I wonder how I will be able to relate with this one. So yeah, fingers crossed. It's one that I do enjoy. Roll number five. Will this be our final roll? Let's find out. Got a two and a three. So a five. I've been rolling a lot of low numbers today. One, two, three, four, five. Our final is a blue cat. Blue Cat is on the TBR Cat board. So our fifth and final roll brings us to the Blue Cat for the wrapped book TBR. I have not had this in ages. I completely forgotten what books are inside this. <laughs> so I've got numbers one, three, four, and five. I'm gonna use my spinny app again to choose the book. So let's see what it chooses. Okay, it's on number four which means this one here so let's open and see what we got oh okay I forgot that I own this book but the book that I've unwrapped is Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. And the final roll, roll number five, which was a blue cat, which led towards the wrapped books bag. And as you would have seen, the number that came out and the book that came out was Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. I honestly forgot that I own this book. I remember seeing this in the bookstore the other day and being like, mm, I wonder like if I ever got this one well yes I did so yeah this one seems like it's really quirky it's described as a dark comedic love story so if you guys have read this let me know your thoughts down below because maybe I'm in the mood for this sort of book I'm kind of scared though so <laughs> I mean we shall see fingers crossed this is one I get around to reading so I always choose a book out of my TBR this is my TBR Tombola because I have so many books and they are all in here anything from like adult books young adult books middle grade books children's books review books Illumin Crate books Fairly books special editions signed books and all that pretty much majority of them are in here so <laughs> I'm gonna give the Tombola a really good spin around and then the other way and then I'm gonna go in here this one this one here and we have got oh the stolen air by Holly Black interesting so as you guys would have seen with the tbr tombola 
I mean, I always choose one each month because I like to have that mystery. And it's the books I own. And I'm actually quite excited about this one. So the book that came out was The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Um, this is my beautiful edition, Illumicrate. I'm really annoyed actually because the cats have attacked this book and as you can see it's been chewed by a naughty 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 person and also there's a rip here anyway so the stolen air I have read the trilogy of the folk of the air so I'm literally very excited to continue on with this and yeah because i really really loved the folk of the air trilogy so i'm happy this is on the tbr so now we've got the top 10 books which are in the grab machine so let's grab a book <laughs> I got one, I got one. Oh my goodness. Why did that not work? I was meant to have the yellow one but I've got the red one instead. Inside this one is Evermore by Alice Nowhere on my reread. Top 10 book machine. As you guys would have seen Evermore came out. This is a reread for me. I reread this a long time ago <laughs> and I've reread it a few times. So yeah it would be really really intriguing for me to go into it as like you know in my 30s and to see and and feel my thoughts on it and whether i still love this book so we shall see so i have a popular books board where i have hearts that you can like scratch out i designed it years ago and i wrote popular books behind the hearts that i got from goodreads i literally went into goodreads and was just like you know popular wire books or popular books in general and i wrote a load of them down and i tried to have them with books i owned so the whole point of this board is for me to choose books from that board that are popular books so that i can read the popular books so that i can be like yeah i've read this book it's popular you know so that's the whole point and I did complete Strange Angels the last time I did this TBR, so it's really good. So there's only one book left that I had already scratched off that I will be hopefully picking up this month. And I remember when I first started to read this a few years ago, I was actually kind of enjoying it. Um, so yeah, this is the first book in a trilogy anyway, and this is the knife of ne never letting go by patrick ness and i've met the author a couple of times now he's a really nice guy he knows me as kamikaze camera girl and yeah i really kind of liked this one it's it's dystopian and i really liked how different this was so yeah it's a massive book though this is such a chonker of a book over 500 pages but it's on the popular books list so ideally i would like to to you know at least get it started again but yeah i was really enjoying it especially when like he could hear his dog's thoughts i think it was so yeah and i i think i remember at the time that my good friend rosie um and also i think alicia read this so and i think they enjoyed it from what i remember so correct me if i'm wrong if you're both watching but yeah i am intrigued all the same to see where this one leads me so with the main tbr game out of the way i of course have got some other books that i will be 
putting on the TBR. First of all is the book club read. The live show is to be confirmed because we've pushed back last month's one because I mean two of us we just didn't have time to finish the book and we didn't really kind of like want to rush it we wanted to enjoy it so and then I had my show so I had to unfortunately we pushed it back another couple of weeks um, so the live show for that one is literally this weekend that I'm filming this so yes and then this book which was meant to be July's book for the live show in August not really sure when we're going to do this live whether it's going to be like the end of this month of August or whether it's going to be beginning of September so not entirely sure yet when that live will be but that book is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor I've got it downstairs in the garage I think somewhere so I need to get that out for sure so I can start reading it soon. I'm kind of scared by that one because I do remember when I started to read that it was very hard for me to get into because Lainey Taylor's writing style I was really kind of like struggling with so I mean this was a few years ago so who knows. I tend to be a little bit funny when it comes to like lyrical beautiful flowery writing I find it really hard to get into I just tend to struggle with it so I don't know how it's gonna go with this one I really really want to enjoy it because it's a massively loved and hyped book so I shall see I shall see if I can physically read it first because I think I also kind of tried the audiobook and I might have the audiobook still in my audible account so yeah I think I just need a lot of concentration with it but yeah fingers crossed with that one and as for August's book which came out of the poll I'll place a picture over here with this one and yeah this one definitely intrigued to keep a read so yeah those are the book club reads and yeah we'll see how my thoughts are gonna go for those books but the live show for august's book hopefully should be sometime september probably like late september just to kind of like give it a bit of time but obviously it depends on all of us hosts and whether we get it read in time at the end of the day it's kind of like a hobby for us it's just something nice for us to sit down and read together and to gather our thoughts so yeah i am intrigued and excited all the same so the last actual book on this tbr um that i haven't actually started i wanted to put on a yalk book because i like realized i didn't really have any yalk books on this tbr i want to try and read at least a Yelk book each month so I have put A Kind of Spark by Elle McNicole it's the one I'm most intrigued to read then I can watch the TV show it's a very short read and I feel like I'm going to really connect with this one so I'm very excited for it and I'm hoping I can really get around to reading this in the month of August so in total I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that I'm kind of happy with. I can pick and choose from those. I'm a mood reader, so this TBR could go out the window. I just I like to make TBRs, I like to be organised with them. So who knows what is going to happen with this. But we shall see. I'm in the mood to read. I'm in the mood to read anything at the minute. So that's good as well. I'm not something or anything. It's just finding time to read. If I can sit down and just read, I will. So yeah, it's just me getting the ball rolling with it. And actually doing it. Because the trouble is, I'm a very like shifty person in the sense of like, I barely like sit down to actually do something and sit there for a good while and now I finished my show I should have some time again to myself to go back to the gym again and to hopefully get my energy rising it's a very hot day today guys 
I am just like so hot. <laughs> so I'm thinking today is going to be a day where I'm going to like lay in the bedroom on the bed where it's cool and hopefully get some reading done because it would be good if I could. Um, and yeah, I've had fun doing this TBR. So I hope you guys have had fun watching it. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've got a mixture. I've got, let's say I've got a contemporary. I'm not really sure what genre that is it could be a fantasy um but yeah i've got a few contemporaries on this one and a few fantasies a dystopian and yeah i'm just really excited if i'm in the mood to read a different book then i will like i won't switch it out or anything i literally would just read something else like i've done that before like honestly i've just been like oh i really want to read this book and then i've just started reading it randomly and it wasn't even on the TBR so there you go <laughs> so without further ado I shall wrap up this video now and if you guys have enjoyed it please do give me a thumbs up and also let me know down below in the comments what books you guys are planning on reading in August are there any on my TBR that you also have that you fancy reading alongside me Strange the Dreamer or the other book club read or you know the stolen air knife of never let it go kind of spark any of like the other books that are on this tbr that you want to read then do let me know because buddy reads honestly helped me to read the books faster but other than that guys that is it for this video so all of my social media links will be linked down below in the description if you would like to follow me elsewhere all my links will be down below but that's it for me guys so keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!